Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the campaign remastered. Now, I must admit, I'm devastated that they decided to bring this game back, my all-time favorite Call of Duty, and then leave out the most crucial, important part, the multiplayer. But I thought, you know what, it's fine. They decided to do what they wanted to do, which is insanity. But uh, I actually never played Modern Warfare 2's campaign. Back in the day, your boy only played multiplayer. I was a hardcore multiplayer addict, and I never played the campaign, I never played story games at all, and I thought, you know what, because it's been so long, and I really wanna see what this game would look like in modern day, beautiful 2020 graphics, next gen, get a little taste of what could have been this game, Modern Warfare 2, multiplayer, remastered, the nostalgic maps, the old guns, which will never happen because they've confirmed there's never going to be a remastered multiplayer, which is so sad, but it's fine. I thought I would jump on and play the campaign today because I never actually played it, and I want to see what this game would look like in modern day graphics. Also, check me out. Do I look like I belong in the military? Hoorah! Not really. I think I look like a hick that's mad at someone that's, I don't know, crossing his lawn. This is not real, by the way. It's actually an airsoft gun, okay? So don't panic. And yes, I, th this is all I have. I, I thought wearing camo might make me look like I belong in the military, but now I realize I just look like a big stupid hick. Either way, if you guys are excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, this will probably be like a four part series. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go. All right, all right. I remember when this game dropped, rushing out to buy it, and I had so much fun after school. I played for hours on end. And I also remember this game was really controversial because of the no Russian mission. Parents were sure their kids were going to become terrorists because they played this. <laughs> Same with Grand Theft Auto. It's the FNG, sir. And again, I've never actually played this game. Name is so, so uh, I have no clue what happens in the story mode at all. I just remember playing this game back in the day, the multiplayer, it felt so realistic, so military. Like it was an actual, real event that happened in history. Like I was actually in the army. A lot of Call of Duties lack that. They feel almost Michael Bay and sort of fake. But the, this game really captured, I guess, what it felt like to be in the military. We're gonna walk him out. At least little old Beastie thought so. And I think this is all a recap of what happened in Modern Warfare, again, Never played the campaign for that game either. Zakayev. Imran Zakayev. Mm. I can already feel the nostalgia. This game was so much fun, man. My son's blood once their hands. It was my youth. Oh, I really wish they would release this game, the multiplayer part of it remastered. And I also remember back in the day, this game on the Xbox 360, it blew my mind. I thought it was the most realistic thing I had ever seen in my life. By today's standards, it looked terrible, like a mobile game, but back then, no. I thought it looked incredible. It's amazing how your, I guess, um, your expectations for games change over time. That goes without saying. All right, here we go. I am gonna be so bad at this game. I'm being honest because I have not played a console game in a minute. And the last game I played, I was also terrible. <laughs> I'm only good on PC and even there I suck. Moscow, Russia. I think I remember there was a training part at the very beginning of this game. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor, and here I am thinking we'd won. Mm -mm -mm. But you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him. True, true. Locations change, the rationale, the objective. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you and pray they don't eventually decide to hate you for it too. All right, quite the way to set up the game. Again, Call of Duty back in the day was so ahead of its time. It was Same incredible. Shit, different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes open. All right, you got, got it. Got a new batch hitting the pit today, sir. 
I'll send you the best I find. Mm, I hope I'm not the best you're going to find because I am terrible. Thus why I need to be at training camp. It's about to be all kinds of embarrassing. I am not very good at this game. Well, console games. Oh! Welcome to Pull the Trigger 101. Private Allen here is going to do a quick weapons demonstration to show you locals how it's done. No offense, but I see a lot of you guys firing from the hip and spraying bullets all over the range. Me. You don't end up hitting the damn <laughs> thing and it makes you look like an ass. Private Allen, show them what I'm talking about. Yeah. Grab that weapon off the table and fire at the targets behind you. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I just got to stare. This game looks incredible. Look at it. I mean, by today's standards, I suppose it's not as amazing as it could be, but considering what this game was, it looks so beautiful remastered on console. Oh, wish there was multiplayer. You know what I'm saying, Sergeant Foley? Your face looks beautiful. Look at that high resolution, high texture quality. Oh! All right, let me pick up this gun. Basic training camp. Let's do it. Targets. Fire at the targets. Seems rather basic. I think I know how to do this part. Don't aim at the site yet. I'm trying to make a point here. Just fire from the hip. I'm pretty good at that. Spray and pray. Mm. You see what I mean? He sprayed bullets all over the damn place. <laughs> You've got to pick your targets by aiming deliberately down your sights from a stable stance. Private Allen, mm. show our friends here how the Rangers take down a target. You got it! Crouch first, then aim down your sight at the target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Chief. There we go. Oh, my goodness, the aim assist. It's so strong. That's all there is to it. You want your targets to go down? You gotta aim down your sights. Aiming down your sights also works for switching quickly between targets. Aim down your sights, then pop in and out to acquire new targets. Show them, Private. Mm. If your target is close to where you're aiming, you can snap to it quickly by aiming down your sights. Oh, so it's like aimbot. Never actually helped me much. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure it took me like a month to get even a basic kill streak in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, I am just god awful. This is so sad. I really should play console games more. Shield your eyes, boys. I'm now terrible. You, you want to take down your targets quickly and with control. Now, if your target is behind light cup, remember that certain weapons can penetrate and hit your target. The private here will demonstrate. Oh, he's translating. I was like, what in the hell is he doing? Uh, right, I heard penetrating. Who, who, who wants to be penetrated? What's happening? Oh, wall banging, of course. Now, uh, listen up, all right? It, pretend like there's a new behind that wall camping, right? Okay, now here's what you do. Wall bang his ass. Hoorah! I'm Last sorry, I'll stop. Least, you need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Private Allen, mm. pick up some frag grenades from the table. You got it, toss Chief. Toss the grenade down the range to take out several targets at once. Oh, yes. Very reminiscent of playing this game. Noob tubes and grenades. It's pretty much all it was. That and the inter uh, intervention sniper rifle. All right, here we go. Fire in the hole. Oh, oh, shit. Good. Note that frags tend to roll on sloped surfaces. Mm. So think twice before tossing one uphill. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Private Allen. You got now it. Get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. Oh, the course. <gasps> I remember that part. All right. Who wants to go first? Show me what you've learned so far. Oh, this game looks so beautiful, man. Okay, I actually remember doing the training part of this game. So maybe the game forced you to do training before multiplayer, or maybe I started the campaign but never actually finished it. Either way, I definitely did this part, and I was just blown away. Little old beastie back in the day, playing this part of the game, I was just so engulfed with everything, fascinated by the details. I think at one point I even wanted to join the military because of this. But that didn't happen. I'm a weak coward. Howdy, boys. Howdy. Love the military base here. You guys just chillaxing, I see. We got plenty of water, Humvees, guns, basketball. <sighs> I can sense the testosterone. So much testosterone. All right, all right, let's uh, double time over here. And uh, I'm about to make a huge fool of myself. What's up, Dunn? You done being done, Dunn? Hey, Private. Welcome back to the pit. Yo, what's up, what's up? How's it going, man? General Shepard wants to pull a shooter from our unit for some special op. Anyway, he's up there in observation. Go ahead and grab a pistol. Ooh, the Desert Eagle. Got one of those. <laughs> mm, again, it's a toy. Oh, wait, right, I can inspect my weapon? Rifle. I don't remember that part from the game. That must be new. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I definitely remember trying this multiple times. 
I thought if I did it over and over again, I would eventually get better at the game. Also, shout out to anyone that remembers the channel Xbox Ahoy. I used to be infatuated with tutorials on how to play the game, statistics and breakdowns of uh, each weapon in the game, like class setups. I was the biggest COD nerd ever. The ACR, my favorite Good, gun. Good, now switch mm. to your sidearm again. All right, I like the night vision goggles. You see how fast that was? Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Well, smile for the cameras and don't miss. Shepard's gonna be watching. For the cameras? Gets to join the prima donna squad, if that's your thing. Oh, the ACR! Okay, head on in. Timer yes. starts as soon as the first target pops. Oh, this was my favorite gun! There was just something about the ACR. It used to shred. It first, Very much the Rangers can't do that SF and Delta can, but whatever, man. That's so calm brass for you. Mm. I have no idea what you're and talking all those about. Freaking blocking positions. When are we gonna see some real action instead of babysitting seals and D boys? Who are? Who are? I love the military jargon in this game. I feel like they put a lot of time and effort into making it feel authentic. Which again, a lot of Call of Duties now can't do. A lot of games, okay, in fact, can't do. Okay, Private Allen, we don't have all day. Get in the pit. Oh, shut your damn mouth. Okay, so Foley, 35 seconds. Done. 40. Or what is that? 44. Macy, 51. What's the best time here? It looks like 28 seconds. Ramirez. So 20... No, 19 seconds? Wait, what? You're gonna get us both in trouble with the general, man. Get in the pit. All right. Course, Damn it. Dude. I was just trying to see who's the best. All right, all right. Let's try and actually do this properly. Snap onto every target. Not kill the civilians. Mm. Hoorah! Am I right? Yeah, I'm all GI and military. I am so slow. This is embarrassing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, don't yell at me, you're making me all types of nervous. Oh, oh, missed that guy. I killed a civilian? When? Oh, all right, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. Oh, I'm so bad at this, holy crap. All right, I, oh, I remember. I used to do this over and over again and only shot one time and I was trying to get my best time possible, but I, uh, I, I never actually got it. 45 seconds. Yikes! You look okay out there, but you still need some work. Damn straight I do. Okay, that was embarrassing. Your team, where you can go back in and run the course again. Oh, I want to do it now though. New record, 46 seconds. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure I remember doing it and actually getting a, a, a pretty decent time. I don't know why I was spamming my gun. Oh, okay. Your abilities in combat will be tested. You know what? Simply because I am a, rec a recruit and I'm playing on console and I'm not a console gamer, let's just go with recruit. All right, hunter units, get to your victors. We're headed out. Whatever you say, man. Let's, let's go. Oh, everyone's scrambling. What happened to him? Everyone, get to your vehicles. We're moving out. Jesus, I think uh, he doesn't have bones in his legs or something. Ah <laughs> oh, man. What could have been if only this game was remastered for multiplayer? But this will be fun. We are the most powerful military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Mm. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. How poetic. <laughs> this True, is though. a time for heroes, a time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. All right. I wish I had a voice like yours, Shepard. All right. Now this is the part I actually didn't play. I, I think I remember doing the, uh, oh, basic training, but I definitely stopped about here. Okay. And the Michael Bay movie begins. Call of Duty, they love their explosions. Get up, lead the way. Move. You're so cool. You're so cool. All right, oh, we're in the thick of it now. All right, let's see if I can actually use my aim lock. Oh, I love aim assist. 
It takes noobs like me and actually gives us a chance to uh, complete the game. Even if I am playing a recruit. Oh, grenade launcher! Yeah, I remember doing this. In multiplayer, that is. <laughs> The radio chatter. I actually feel like I'm in real war. Wow, I missed that? Dude, this is embarrassing. I am terrible. Oh, this is so, so cool, man. I just, I don't know. Th th this game was so ahead of its time back in the day when it released. And the graphics, it looks so good now. I can't get over it. Man, I am a terrible shot. This is embarrassing. All right, let's move out. Following you, boys. I hope you're not relying on me because, again, you will die if you're relying on me. Now look at this guy with the shades. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, I forgot about this. Call of Duty campaigns, they always have a mountain machine gun. Which building is it, sir? It's that tall one at one o'clock. Hey, which building? The one at one o'clock, the tall... Hey, Dave, which one is it? Is it the one on the left or the right? <laughs> the one on the left. <laughs> hey, isn't this danger close for the task force? Come on, since when does Shepard care about danger? Oh, we got a bombing strike. Oh, confirmed hit. Woo! Yeah, danger close! Look at the sign. Alright, we're Oscar Mike! Oh, look, 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 the building's going down! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Let's blow shit up! Let's blow everything up! Oh, yeah! Hunter 2, breaking away. I can see how my parents were worried when I played games like this back in the day. The things I used to scream while gaming. Keep an eye on Pacific. We're not clear to engage unless they fire first. Oh, I was hoping I could saw down the palm tree. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. You see Love the military jargon. Nothing, dude. This place is dead. Uh, I don't think it's actually that dead. Hunter two one. We're passing Tunnel Harvey. Cross Pete Elizabeth. Roger that. Hunter two one. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Oh, I can feel it. There's people around here. This is the Wild West. Look at this guy scrambling. Hey, we're, we're, we're friendly. Watch Unless you happen houses. to be in our way. Cover it. Oh. Okay. They seem to be friendly. Howdy, boys. You like my gun? It's a big gun. I bet they're scouting us. Oh. Oh. Well, they don't seem so friendly. Can you see him? Can you see him? I don't see Jack. All hunter victims. This is Sergeant Oh! Prepare to engage. Prepare to engage. We're taking sniper fire from multiple directions. Speed them off. Okay, well, it looks like we are in the heat of battle now. Oh, they're on the roof. And they've got RPGs. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit's about to go down. I just saw a palm tree in half. No way. <laughs> hey, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, direct impact. Pretty sure our Jeep's on fire, too. Mmm. Now, why would you guys try and tackle it? A Humvee, an armored Humvee with a giant machine gun. I mean, you do have grenades and, and uh, rockets, so I guess that is a little bit more deadly than bullets, right? Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah, what are we doing? Double time, boys, double time. Come on, get out, get us out of here. I am taking heavy fire. Oh, I may have a big gun that shoots a lot of bullets, but I can't outdo rockets. Oh! They got us! Humvee down! Yeah, again, man, this game is so intense. It was definitely ahead of its time. Oh! Let's get away from the windows. They're moving around upstairs. Get the hell away from those windows and secure the top floor! Move! 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 I just love how GI he sounds. 
All right, all right. Stand by, boys. I got this. Hey, what's up, boys? How's it going? You should really check your six. You know that? I just snuck up behind you. Let's throw uh, a grenade and a flashbang. There we go. It's not a Call of Duty game unless I'm blowing shit up. Hey, what's up? 102-1-102-3. I have eyes on the school. Over. 2-1, we are combat ineffective here. We are taking heavy fire from the school. There we go. That's what I was trying to find. Keep it together, 2-3. We're on the way. 2-1 out. What, what are these guys doing? They were just sitting there. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is definitely where we're not supposed to be. All right, who's left? Who's left? Who wants some of this? You? I'm going to try and take refuge in a school for shame. For shame. Mm, light him up. And the aim assist, it is definitely helping me out a lot. <laughs> it's kind of broken, if I'm being honest. Well, watch it. Some of them just went to the classroom on the right. Oh, sorry, Foley. Hunter 2 1. We're in the school. Heavy resistance. Copy that, Hunter 2 1. Sit your ass down. And why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? You deserve to die. Look at this guy. He's trying to be all cool and swag while fighting for his life. Not a very smart move. All right, let's go. Let's go. I got this, boys. You can trust me. All right. Looks like the uh, the corners are safe. We got some guys over here in the windows. Oh, my goodness. The aim assist, man. It's so strong. Yeah, you should really watch your six. Just saying. Over. Roger that, 2-3. Yeah, I'm cutting through history class now. Roger that. Oh, I love this site. There's just something about, uh, I don't know, games that you grew up playing. They're always going to be more fun to play than current games. You're always going to have a special place in your heart for them. In my case, though, it was the multiplayer. But still, this is really cool. It's bringing back old memories. All right, all right. Let's sweep the place. I think I saw one run Clean out all the rats. There we go. Oh, he dropped a grenade. Hello! Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try and throw a grenade. Oh! Hunter 2 1 actual. This is Overlord. Send traffic. The school is secure and hostiles are withdrawing from the area. We're just mopping up now. Solid copy, Hunter 2 1 actual. Proceed with caution to the rally point. EPWs may still be in the area. Over. Roger that, Overlord. Thanks for the tip. Out. So much military Hold jargon. On. Watch for enemy stragglers. Let's get to that rally point. I mean, I'm assuming it's real military lingo, right? They've done a good job. I feel like I'm actually a soldier and not just playing a game with a bunch of random characters like a lot of shooters tend to do now. Oh, oh. Where do you think you're going? You're trying to be all slick? Wow, nice grenade throw. That's like something I would do. I see you over there. I've got the power of aim assist on my side. Oh, see that? I didn't even have to aim. Just left trigger and it just locks on to everyone. Gotta love it. Where are you going? Where are you shooting at? Oh, I am so sorry, Private Field. My apologies. Trigger happy. Gentlemen, good work on taking the town. Private Allen, you'll be taking orders from me from now on. I'll brief you on the chopper. Let's go. You got it. Love your mustache. Okay, this is so cool. I can't believe back in the day I didn't actually play the campaign. I was really missing out. Back in the day, I'm sure this would have captivated everything for me. Like, I, I would have been fully engrossed in the campaign. My mind would have been blown. But I was so busy playing the multiplayer, I don't know. That's all I really cared about. I'm sure that was the case for a lot of people. Oh! You know, in fact, I think I remember seeing a few clips on YouTube. Perfect for your undercover assignment. So Makarov is the prize. Makarov's no prize. He's a whore, a mad dog killer for the highest bidder. Just remember your new identity. It'll keep you alive. Welcome to the 141. Best hand-picked group of warriors on the planet. Mm. It's an honor, sir. When do I meet the rest of the team? They're on a mission recovering a downed ACS module behind enemy lines. Their feet wet? Imagine they're just about freezing right now. Okay, I remember vaguely parts of this game, so I think I may have even seen clips on YouTube at the time. Oh, I remember this for sure. The Xbox 360 demo. 
If you're wondering, I downloaded the demo a lot of times when I got a new console. Breaks over, Butch. Let's go. Holy shit, this looks so good! Oh, ho, ho. oh, this looks so good! This game is beautiful, man. All right, let's be very, very careful. Let's not fall to our death. I like how we're just casually up here smoking cigars. <laughs> kind of a weird place to take a break, wouldn't you say? Stay here and spot me. Wait for my go. You got it, Makovish. Makovish. I can't say your name, but you got it, man. Yeah, this All game right, was very innovative good. back in the day. Me. I mean, these types of missions. It wasn't your basic run around and just shoot at random bad guys. I mean, there was actually purpose behind it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Okay, you could not pay me a million dollars to do this. Hell no. I mean, maybe if there was the world's largest trampoline below me or something, but there is no way I would be doing this. Oh my God. Oh shit. Okay, all right, we're, we're good. We, go. we got this. We're good. There we go. All right, let's just keep climbing. Let's go a little bit faster. All right, there we go. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I let go of the other trigger before I actually, there we go, climbed all the way to the top. Okay. I definitely remember a snowmobile, right? Woo! There we go. Making my way to the top. Oh! You good? Man, someone's gonna cause an avalanche. Hopefully there's no one up here yodeling. That'd be problematic. I have no idea why anyone would be <laughs> yodeling, but still. All it takes is the slightest sound to set off an avalanche, right? That's how that works. Or gunshots, that Good would luck. probably also do it. I'll see you in the far side. Oh my god. This man has balls of steel. Okay, well then. Uh, I'm guessing I have to go up here. No, never mind. I stand corrected. Yep. Whoa! Hold on, don't let go! Yeah. I didn't plan to let letting go, thank you so much. Oh, Great plan. Could we not have, uh, I don't know, done this in a simpler way? Instead of jumping like lunatics? There is such a thing as gravity, you know. Mm. Okay. Well, amazingly, we're still alive. No thanks to you. You nearly got us killed. Oh, the heartbeat sensor. Check your heartbeat sensor. You should be able to see me on the scope. That blue dot is me. Any unrecognized contacts will show up as white dots. Okay. I definitely remember playing this part though. The demo. I think it was when I broke my original Xbox 360 and I bought a new one. And uh, I didn't actually have time Coach, to install any games, so I just no got the demo. Let's take this nice and slow. You take the one on the left. One, three. One, two, three. Nicely done. Perfectly timed. True assassins. Oh, man. This is incredible. I do appreciate the fact a lot of gaming companies are starting to restore their old games like Resident Evil, this game, although they left out one of the most important you know, elements and aspects. There's a lot of other games I played back in the day that I think would be really, really cool to see with modern graphics fully restored. Oh, I see bogeys on the heartbeat sensor. Same plan. One, three. One, two, three. <laughs> nice work. Never saw it coming. Man, look at the snow. It's so thick out here. It's a good thing we came prepared. Well, mostly prepared. That jump back there was a suicide attempt. I, I, I'm saying it. That was a suicide attempt on your part. Luckily, we do have the heartbeat sensor so that we can see through this thick blanket of snow. We've got a blizzard around here. It's cold. Storm is brewing up. Let's split up. 
I'll use the thermal scope and provide overwatch from this ridge. Use the cover of the storm to enter the base. You'll be a ghost in this blizzard, so the guards won't see you until you're very close. Keep an eye on your heartbeat sensor. Good luck. Okay, got it. Can't help but feel this wouldn't work in real life, but who am I to judge? Nighty night. Stay out of sight. You've alerted one of them. I have? Where that? I Okay, I see him on the heartbeat sensor, but I oh I see. Did I really just ruin this? Nope, never mind. Nice one. Whew. Nearly botched that one up. <laughs> Imagine me screwing it up playing this game on recruit difficulty. Okay. There's obviously another guy around here. You can't see me, but I can see you. Because I'm cheating. All right. I've tapped into their comms. I said these can plant your C4 at the fueling station. Hide. You've alerted one of the guards. Now he's dead. He's not going to be telling anyone about anything. Did he shoot? Uh, you go. Okay, good. And this, uh, this blizzard was perfect timing. Okay, anyone else around here? No? We should be good. Okay. Oh, got a few more guys down here. Hello, boys. Truck just passed through. A couple of bogeys over here. You know, I probably don't even need to engage. I can just go around. Approach the fueling station near the northeast corner of the runway. Okay, you got it, Chief. I'm going around. Don't see anyone else on the heartbeat sensor. Perfect. All right. Anyone else? I'm seeing some activity on the runway. Looks like 20 plus foot mobiles headed your way. 20! Well, that, that's not good. I don't see them on the heartbeat sensor. You sure about that? That's the fueling station. Okay. Go ahead and plant the explosives. And, uh, where do I go? I'm picking up more radio traffic about the satellite. Stand by. Alright, I'll just stand by the edge of this wall here, right? Sounds like the satellite's in the far hangar. Yeah. Oscar Mike, out. Oscar Mike, out. All right, get to the satellite. Wow, it is really thick out here. I can't see anything. Like, literally nothing at all. All right, we don't have too far to go. Let's try and not get caught. Mm. Okay. Any more bad guys around here? Maybe you guys just decided to get out and stretch your legs. Get some fresh air. It's understandable. I mean, the best type of air to breathe is cool air. From a blizzard. Wow. Talk about a thick snowstorm. He couldn't even see his buddy die right in front of his face. Okay, I'm trying to make my way around. Give your boy a moment here. You know, being in a snowstorm is rather disorienting. Okay, can I go through here? I think I can. No one on the heartbeat sensor. We should be good to go. Oh, for a minute there, I thought you were a bad guy. <laughs> Took a scenic a bit, eh? Yeah. Let's go. I wanted to see all of the snow. dead. You know, I could have just shot him. I do have a suppressed weapon. What the hell is this? Is this a giant bomb? No, there's no way. It must be part of a satellite. Alright, let's head up here. Um, possibly through here? Yes. Alright, alright. What do we have here? Retrieve ACS. The snow doesn't look so bad from in here. Compromised. Keep a low profile and hold your fire. Hold my fire. 
Oh, they know we're here. You have five seconds to comply. Only five seconds? Approach. Go to plan B. Plan B, you say? Plan B is in boom? You guys might want to go check that out. A lot of things exploded. Yeah, go check that out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they call me the human aimbot because that's exactly what I am. I've got aim assist and oh, it is strong. <laughs> this guy just face planted into death. Mm. You got it, I'm right on your six. Oh man. Honestly, I can't think of another game that would have been this intense back in the day. Like in 2009? There weren't a lot of games that had this quality behind them. All right, all right. I see you want me to be the uh, the bait. Got it. Mm, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, wow. Really? I, I missed that? Right, now, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm coming. Come to me. I'm following you. Everything's exploding. Oh, snowmobiles! I am a terrible shot. All right, looks like I'm just supposed to run out in the open. You're gonna do all the cover fire? You know, we might need a small army. Just saying, we did try and raid an entire base, just the two of us. Oh man, this is so cool. I just can't get over how good the game looks. Whoa! Boys, 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 let's talk about this. There's no need to fight. Oh, okay, maybe there is. <laughs> oh, nicely done. That's one way to use a snow spike or whatever it's called. An ice pick. That's it, ice pick. Take that snowmobile, let's get the hell out of here. You got it. All right, here we go. Whoa. Ah, no, who put that rock there? Okay, there is no way. There's no way you're able to do this. The accuracy needed. He's shooting it sideways like a real gangster. Hey, look, I'm giving it full beans, man. I'm trying. It's chaos out here. You know us sideways firing gangsters, it's tough. Oh, look at that. The accuracy. Oh, shit. Okay, we got choppers. They're shooting missiles at us. At least I think so. Yup, missiles. Okay. These guys are on snowmobiles. Mm, doesn't matter, though. Look at me. Oh, I can just pick them off one after another. Shooting sideways. Oh, that's how it's done. Okay, all right. Let's not drive directly into the missile fire from the choppers. That's a bad idea. Oh, oh shit. shit. These have to be the world's fastest snowmobiles. I mean, seriously. The speed. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break the sound barrier. Or every bone in my body. Which is definitely the case. <laughs> Aim towards the enemy. Okay. Instruction printed on the U.S. rocket launcher. Mm. Okay, let's not do that again. All right. Careful of the trees. Lace it right down the middle. And big jump. Oh, there's no way that would work. You can't tell me this game is not intense. For back in the day, this game had it all. Intensity, a good story, felt really military-esque. Great campaign, great multiplayer. Again though, this is the first time I'm playing the campaign, but still, they the really went all out for this game. Force 141 brought in the ACS, Alan. Two men took down an entire base. I ask much more from you now. Yesterday you were a soldier on the front lines, but today, front lines are history. Uniforms are relics. 
The war rages everywhere, and there will be casualties. This man, Makarov, is fighting his own war, and he has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. Mm. He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. He trades blood for money. Damn. He's your new best friend. Say what? You don't want to know what it's cost already to put you next to him. It will cost you a piece of yourself. It will cost nothing compared to everything you'll save. All right, so I'm guessing we are going to be in the espionage business now with this very terrible man. All right, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it off there for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I must say, I am surprised at how much I'm enjoying the campaign so far. Can't believe I didn't play it back in the day when the game dropped, but I was infatuated with the multiplayer, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But uh, yeah, it, they really did a good job with this game. Modern Warfare 2 was very ahead of its time, and uh, I really wish I could see the multiplayer remastered, but it's all good. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and until the next episode, peace out. Yes, I am the world's worst shot. My accuracy is terrible in console. Don't leave that in the comments below, because trust me, I know.